Which controller is better, the PlayStation 5 DualSense or the Xbox controller? I will leave that decision up to you. But what I will do is show you how you can use an Xbox controller on your PlayStation 5 without any adapters or dongles. My name is RobinB360 and welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe to see more of my content or help me grow the channel. Now let's continue. Even though it's not supported, you can use the Xbox controller on the PlayStation 5 by using the PlayStation Remote Play app on your Android device or iPhone. This allows you to connect your Xbox controller to the PlayStation 5 and play on your phone, tablet, TV or monitor, or maybe even your projector. Just follow the following steps. Step 1. Download the PlayStation Remote Play app. It doesn't matter if you downloaded it on your Android or iOS device, but it is mandatory to set up and utilize on your controller. Step 2. Connect your Xbox controller to your iOS or Android device using Bluetooth. To do this, open your Bluetooth settings on your device and press the Xbox button on your controller. The controller should then appear in the Bluetooth device list. Click on Xbox Wireless Controller to connect it to your device via Bluetooth. Step 3. Connect your iOS or Android device to your PlayStation using the PlayStation Remote Play app. When you open the PlayStation Remote Play app, it will ask you to sign in to your PlayStation Network account. Once you're signed in, it will explain you how to connect your controller. You should already have done this in step 2. So click OK to move to the next step. Step 4. Connect to your console. You will now see the screen asking you to select your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. Select the console you are using to move to the next step. Step 5. Link your console. You will be able to link your console manually. On your console, go to Settings, then to System, then to Remote Play, and then to Link Device. Once you click Link Device, you will be given an 8-digit number, which you should then input into your PlayStation Remote Play app. Once you've typed in the code, your phone should connect to the PlayStation, allowing you to use the Xbox controller on your PlayStation 5. As this is a Remote Play app, you will be able to see your gameplay on both the TV that your PlayStation is outputting to, as well as on your Android or iOS device. And that's it! You can now play on your PlayStation 5 with your Xbox controller. While this is great, there are some problems to point out. The problem when using the Remote Play app to use an Xbox controller is that it causes some lag. This is because your inputs are being sent across your Wi-Fi rather than directly to your console. If you're playing something that requires fast reaction times, such as an FPS game or a racing game, then this probably isn't the best solution as you will experience input lag, and even more so during intense games like Elden Ring. Also, you don't have a touchpad. So for games in which you need these, for example to open the map, you need to use your phone or the actual PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. But if you just want to use an Xbox controller to control your console menus or play games that don't require quick reaction times, and you can miss the trackpad, then this is the simplest way to do it. There are some ways to get the best possible connection to have minimal lag. For example, make sure your PlayStation is connected to Ethernet rather than Wi-Fi. Or you can try to keep your phone and PlayStation 5 close to your router. This will ensure you are getting the strongest possible connection between devices. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If so, make sure to like the video as it would help me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe and put on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. It's free and if you want to see more similar content, I would recommend this video. If you made it to the end of the video, comment thank you so I know you are still here. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.